the Joker's Wild. And now, here's the host of the show, Bill Cullen. Hello, and thank you, and welcome to the Joker's Wild. Thanks for tuning us in. We're happy to have you with us. Well, let's see. When time was called, we were about to start a brand new game. So, now that we're here, why don't we do just that? Charlie, whom do we have? Bill, first hour challenger. He's a student who speaks Portuguese, Japanese, and Spanish. Johnson Sai. And our current champion is a student who enjoys competing in triathlon. Her winnings total in cash and prizes, $4,850. Lauren Abu. Okay, we welcome both of you back, and we might as well start and meet our new challenger, Johnson Sai. Portuguese, Japanese, and Spanish. How'd you learn so many languages, Johnson? Well, Bill, I was born in Brazil, and that takes care of the Portuguese. And my, my mother speaks Japanese, and that's what we speak in the household. I, I imagine then you learned Spanish from your father. No, uh, my father's Chinese, and we, we learned... Uh, we learned, I learned Spanish in high school. But you must be a, I know, I can tell you right now, you must be a language major, are you? No, I'm a political science major. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I want you to meet me, I'm wrong. Uh, that's all I, <laughs> uh, you, you could be the whole UN assembly all by yourself. Hello, Lauren. Hello. And welcome back. Thank you. And congratulations. Lauren is with us. Uh, this, she has won so far three games. As you know, five games is the game where you win the car and uh, on top of everything else. So far, everybody, Lauren has won four thousand eight hundred and fifty bucks. I'll remind you. I'll remind you also that Lauren is a triathlete. That that means you compete in the triathlon, which consists of a bicycle ride. It, is that right? Right. It consists of a one-mile swim, a twenty-mile bike ride, and a six-mile run. And you came in second. Right. She, Johnson, you're going to have to watch her. She's pretty good. <laughs> She's fast on her feet and on her bike, too, for that matter. Okay. If you want to take a look at the categories, and I more or less suggest you do, they are explorers, cartoon characters, first lines, rock music, and finally, fast-forward science. We'll talk about that if and when it comes up. But fast-forward can be a pretty big winner for whomever gets it and decides to use it. Ready to go, Johnson? Ready. Good luck. Give him a spin. Okay, come on, Joker. Johnson Sai has a Joker. Fast forward and fast forward. Hey, that's all right. Your choice, sir. Uh, Bill, I think we're going to have to go with fast forward science for 200. I don't blame you. In fast forward science, Johnson, you answer as many questions as you wish or you can. Each one pays the amount of the spin. If you miss an answer, you lose the total money you earned in the spin. Understand that? Here's right. number one, $200. The word concave describes an optical lens that is thicker on the edges than in the middle, while this term describes a lens that is thinner on the edges than in the middle. For $200 in your first answer, what is this optical term? Convex. Convex is correct. Converging or positive. You've answered one. Now, this is where the fun of fast forward comes in. Do you want to go on? I think I'll stay put, Bill. Okay. Real, he realizes if he went on and missed, he'd lose the money, so he keeps the 200 and Lauren spins. Okay, come on, Jokers. Fast forward, explorers, rock music, and your choice. I'll take fast forward science for 50, please. 50 bucks. In 1935, an American scientist developed a numerical scale which is used to measure the magnitude of earthquakes. The scale bears his last name. For $50 in your first answer, name that earthquake scale. Time is up. You can't play the fast forward, but you do get a chance to pick up the 50 bucks, Johnson, if you can tell me that earthquake scale. Richter. Richter is right, and we'll be back here at Joker's Wild in just a little while. Our friend Johnson has done all the scoring so far. You have a 250 to nothing lead, Johnson, and it's your turn to spin, so spin away. Okay. Let's I'll go, Joker. You. you got rock music again and a Joker. That's a good spin. That is a good spin. Your choice, sir. I'll take rock music for 200. And if you get it right, you'll be up to 450, pretty close to the top. Get ready now. During the 1980s, the songs of Tom Petty and his rock group steadily climbed up the music charts. Those hits included Don't Do Me Like That and Refugee. The groups called Tom Petty 
and the what? Heartbreakers. Right. You picked up another $200. Well, now, Lauren, our champion with $4,850 won. Your work's cut out for you, Lauren. Gosh, i got to see some jokers now. You know, there's a joker. There's a joker. There's a cartoon character. Look it over and decide what you want to do. Well, I'm going to take cartoon characters for 200, please. Cartoon characters for 200, Lauren. In 1983, a popular character from the TV series The A-Team became the lead character in his own Saturday morning cartoon show. The character's name is B.A. Baracus. What's the unusual name of the hulking actor who portrayed B.A.? Mr. T. Mr. T is right. You have... $200. Johnson Sai, our challenger, is sitting in a good spot. Johnson, spin. Let's see what you can do. All right, let's see some more Joker. Johnson has first line Joker, Joker. Look at that. Look at that. What would you like to do? I would like to take the Jokers off the board and go for rock music for $100. you are going for rock music for $100. You're taking the Jokers off the board, which you're permitted to do. And if you get this, you'll have 550 and a very possible win. Here's your question. The word love seemed to dominate the song titles of this 1960s Motown trio. Their huge hits included Baby Love, Stop in the Name of Love, and You Can't Hurry Love. For $100 and a possible win, name that lovely Motown group. The Supremes. You know your rock music. You're right. Well... Now, Lauren, in order to win, you need three jokers or fast forward. Something like that. You ready to go? Okay. Anything we... else and it's over. Okay, here we go. You got a joker, you got a joker, you got explorer. Oh. Now, I merely now ask you what you want to do. I'll go for it. I'll take the jokers off the board mm -hmm. and I'll go for fast forward science for one hundred dollars please okay fast forward science for one hundred I know now what you're trying to do you're gonna try to surpass the 550 up there first question you gotta answer them all to get it astronomers believe that many of these invisible objects exist in space they are collapsed stars with such a strong gravitational force that nothing not even light can escape from them for your first hundred dollars what's the two-word name of these objects. Black hole. That's one. Do you want to go on? Yes. Rather imagined you did. Second, the blue and clear varieties of the mineral corundum are commonly known as sapphires. The red variety of that mineral is one of the world's most precious stones. For your second answer in two hundred dollars, name that rare gem. Ruby. Correct. You have two of them. <clears throat> you want to go on? Yes. Okay, you now have $400 up there. Going for five. At sea level, water will boil when it reaches 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Question is, what is the sea level boiling point of water on the centigrade scale? 100 degrees. Correct. Yeah! You have 500. <laughs> do you want to go on? Yes, I do. Well, if you get this one right, you win the game, it's all over. If you miss it, you lose everything you've won, and Johnson becomes new champion. So, Lauren, this is a big question for you. If you come up with the right answer, it's worth total winnings $5,550. In the 1840s, and please don't help, this colorless liquid became a popular anesthetic because it was safer than chloroform. Its name is derived from the Latin word meaning pure air. For $100, the game, total winnings of 5550 name this super sleep inducer. Ether? It's all over. Oh, my God. <laughs> that... That was quite a finish. Congratulations to you, Thank you so very what much. What a marvelous, marvelous job you did. I'm glad I'm a science major. <laughs> Boy, I'll bet you, I'll bet you are. And Johnson, Cy, you did a remarkable job. It was a quirk that knocked you out of it. But we thank you, and we have some nice consolation prizes. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Johnson. Sorry to see it happen like that. We'll be back here in a little while. Thank you. 
Bill, back to you. Okay, Charlie. Well, Lauren, you have $5,550. That's pretty good winning. You ready for more? Yeah, I sure am. Come on over. Going to give you a shot again today. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes, okay now. You started out very nervous. Oh, I was. Come on over here. We okay. want to get you squared away right with the machine okay. here. You all right now? You're calm. Uh -huh. Want me to hold your hand or anything? No, I think I, I'll be fine. I don't mean or anything. I mean, you want me to hold your hand? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know how it works. You here alone? Yes, Today, no I one. Am. All right. The audience will root you on. You, you may stop spinning at any point you want, Lauren, and okay. take the money. If you get all the way through without hitting the devil, you get the money and this. Lauren, the number 14 figures prominently in two very different gifts. First, Lauren, you'll have a 14-piece set of gleaming copperware. Selected with a service merchandise gift certificate, famous brand name item. Select from our 500-page catalog or redeem at one of our showrooms, furnished by service merchandise. Second, we'll offer you 14 days of tropical pleasure, starting with a week in trendy Miami. Surround yourself with sand and surf in the resort beaches of the Sunshine State, just minutes from the natural splendor of the Everglades. Florida welcomes you with warm ocean breezes, swaying palms, and southern hospitality. While there, you'll sample the good life at Florida's Golden Strand Ocean Resort and Spa. Luxurious suites and secluded private villas offer an unparalleled vacation experience, the Golden Strand. And finally, Lauren, your fortnight vacation will continue with a week in the exclusive Caribbean resort of... Curacao! <laughs> Largest of the Netherlands Antilles, Curacao lies just off South America, combining quaint Dutch architecture with a colorful Caribbean character. Enjoy swimming and diving among coral reefs and sunken ships, and visit the famed floating market. We'll fly you round trip airfare from Miami to Curacao via ALM Antillian Airlines, the friendly airline of the Dutch Caribbean. ALM Antillian Airlines. While there, you'll have eight days and seven nights at the Las Palmas Hotel and Vacation Village in Southern Curacao. The friendly Caribbean vacation resort for everyone. Couples, singles, honeymooners, families. This 14 package is worth in cash and prizes over $4,700. $4,700. I bring you up over $10,000 if you get this. Oh, that would be great. Fill me in because it's a new show. You have beaten the devil once before, haven't yes. you? Yes. So you're going to, you know how to do it. Right. All right, take your first spin. Let's see what you come up with. Okay. Money's rolling. You got 25, total of 100, 200 dollars. Eight to go. What do you want to do? I want to go, definitely. She's going right on. All right. Got another 25, another 25, and 75. That's 325. Oh, I'm keep going. All right. She goes on. She has 75, 50, and another 25. That's let me see, four, four seventy-five. I really want to go on that trip, so I'm going to keep going. She's going right ahead, and here she goes. Spin again. It's one fifty, two hundred, one hundred. That's three, one, how much? Nine twenty-five. You gotta go. You sure you want to? Yes, I'm positive. She wants to go. She's going. You got fifty. I thought you were on a hot roll there. You were actually until that popped up. Only needed twenty-five. And the devil popped up. All right, let's let's talk about nice things. The nice things are these. You're our champion. You continue to play. You have five thousand five hundred and fifty dollars. You've won four games. This next game for you, if you win it, will be the game for all the winnings plus the car. That is what you're looking for. We'll be back here and give her a chance to do that right after this. Well, our champion, Lauren Abbo, has done quite a job. Four games won, 5,550, as I told you. And, Lauren, this time you're going to be playing for the car. You ready? Yeah, I sure okay, am. Okay, Charlie, let's bring out a new opponent and see who we have. Well, Bill, she's a magazine editor whose interests include tennis and bridge, Lynn Jocelyn. Hi, Bill. Welcome to our show. Thank you. It's great to be here. You work for a national magazine. Which one? I do. Seventeen Magazine. Oh, yeah. Very nice magazine. Tell us about your job in particular, Liz. Well, I'm the West Coast Editor Coordinator. I travel all over the United States doing promotions at retail levels. I work mm. with manufacturers mm. and in invo involved in major tennis tournaments, cooking contests, and major music competitions. Sounds like you cover a lot of, lot of territory and a lot of country, do you not? Well, you know, teens today have many different interests, and you really do have to know something about everything to keep up with them. <laughs> That's true. I, I knew everything about something when I was a teen, but things, <laughs> things were different in my... Well, you know, to each his own specialized field of knowledge. 
the, the information you have, Lynn, could pay you dividends right here. We wish you well. You're up against a good player. You know how it works, don't Thank you? Thank you. I sure do. All right. Let me move out of, out of the way here. Here are the categories we'll be playing with this time. You can have TV people, Big and Little, The Body, Smelling Bee, and Stumpers, which is uh, clear questions that have been missed on previous shows and give you a chance to double your money. And occasional incidental music just to keep everybody on their toes or heels, as the case may be. Lynn, you ready to start? I sure am. Give a spin. Okay. Joker. You got big and little, two. TV people, and a three-way split for you. What do you want to do? I think I'd like to try Stumpers. Okay. Now, in Stumpers, these questions were missed by players on a previous show. As I said, you'll have a chance to earn double on this Stumper. Don't answer, though, until I give you the option, okay? First, I'll read the question, but hold the answer. In the old the category of this Stumper's question, the Bible, the Bible. In the Old Testament book of Judges, chapter 15, a great biblical hero kills a thousand Philistines with the jawbone of an ass. By what name do we know that hero? Now, I can help you avoid two wrong answers by telling you what the two previous contestants wrongly said, but you can go for double value or $100 if you do it without help. Which way do you want to go? I think I need their help. Okay, the two wrong answers were David and Jonah. So it was somebody else. Cleverly thought of by me, I should say that. Who was it? Samson? Yes, it was Samson, yeah. and you have a 50. Right. <coughs> of course, the, the jawbone of an ass was easier to get in those days than <laughs> recent times. Now you go on to the Saturday night special or something like that. Lauren, if you care to spin, we'd love to watch. Come on, Joker. You have TV people, big and little, and you got a joker to do with, as you will. Okay, could I try TV people for 100 Sure please? you could, TV people. This, by the way, is a visual, so let me move aside and give you a chance. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, take a look at that picture. During the late 1940s, the popular show of this comedy performer prompted millions of Americans to buy their very first television set. Now, for $100, what's this video veteran's last name? Burl. Uncle Milty. Milton Burrow, you are right. And you have a hundred. All right, Lynn, what you need is a good spin. Oh, Joker, come on, my kitty read shoes. TV people, Joker and Spelling Bee. Okay, let's try TV people for a hundred. All right, you get TV people for a hundred. And once again, as soon as I get my question, I'll step out of the way and give you a chance. To see, you see the picture okay? All right, on TV's not landing, this act actress portrayed a conniving, backstabbing, self-centered, and very popular character. <laughs> For $100, what's the last name of this actress? Mills. You're right, Donna Mills. Okay. I just knew you were going to know that one. We are back to our champion, Lauren, who's playing for the car. Lauren. Okay, come on. Let's see some jokers. <laughs> you got Stumpers, Spelling Bee, and Spelling Bee. Your choice. Okay, could I try Spelling Bee for 100 please? You certainly could. Now, be a good speller, but first I want to tell you something. When you begin to spell, do not stop and go back over. Continue to progress. You may pause, but do not go back. To be a good speller, you have to make your way through a labyrinth of complex spelling rules. Try to find your way out of this maze, and for $100, spell for us the word labyrinth. L-A-B-Y-R-I-N-T-H. Correct. All the way. So we have 200 to 150. Lauren is going for the car if she wins, and we'll be back in just a moment. With me, 100 214 4965. Lauren and Lynn, you're both playing so well. I'd like to stay and finish this, but unfortunately, time has caught up with us. So we'll remind everybody that Lauren's going for the car because it's her fifth game, and Lynn is going for the championship. We would appreciate it very much if you'd put aside what you're doing and join us. Thank you, and we'll see you again on Joker's Wild. Goodbye. <laughs> Grapefruit, a delicious fat burning. The Joker's Wild is a Jack Barry and Pan Enright production.